Boop and welcome to the Back of Jamie Show. Today's episode is to tell you the story of St. Patrick's Day and to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. But I wanted to say St. Patrick's is a patent saint of Ireland and he was a Christian missionary given credit for converting the Irish into Christianity in AD 400s. So many legends around the folk surround his life that the truth is not easily found. St. Patrick's Day is at, not actually Irish. His birthday is actually birth place and date is unknown. However, you believe he was born around third around three thousand three hundred seventy five A.D. in Scotland. His parents were Caprunius and Contessa were Romans living in Britain in charge of colonies. His real name is believed to be Gawain Suscott, and he took the name Patrick upon becoming a priest. He was a priest. He was kidnapped by pirates as a teen and sold into slavery. He was six years in cap captivity as a, as a, um, as a, uh, in a slave by pirates and he became fluent in the Irish language he turned to God in prayer for his escape and he was told to leave Ireland by going to the coast where he would find ships waiting to sail to Britain he believed to have met up with his parents in Wales before traveling to France where he became a priest and later a bishop. Patrick was sent another dream in which people of Ireland were calling out to him to come walk among them once more. He was set out to teach Christianity to the Irish. He traveled through throughout Ireland preaching the gospel and converting many. He and his disciples preached and converted thousands and began building churches all over the country. Patrick preached and converted all over Ireland for 40 years, which date, dated, date cited for when Ireland was converted to Christianity in 1432. There is much debate over which, when he died. It was believed that he died March 17th. 460 at Sowell Down Down Patrick. That is why St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th. Some people suggest that he is also born on March 17th. The clans of Ireland began to bicker over who would receive the honor of having the final resting place on their land to avoid his scrupulous end of his life. His friends secreted away his body to bury in a secret grave. Many believe this is to be Donspick County down where there is a permanent memorial. They say he was born about around 415 AD. At the age of 16 he was brought to Ireland. He later returned home to Wales and France and then he went to France. He died about in 493 and March disputed. Nobody knows exactly. The legacy. That's what the true story of St. Patrick is. So. I just had to tell you the right story. The legend was that he um, got all the snakes out of Ireland. Patrick banished all snakes from Ireland. The absolute absence of snakes in Ireland gave rise to the legend that he had, he had been banished by St. Patrick 
chasing them into the sea after they attacked him during a 40-day feast fast he was undertaking on a top of a hill there that's the other that's the part where the snakes come in that's all i had to tell you guys today i want to thank you guys for watching please comment rate subscribe and have a wonderful week and weekend and share this with your family and friends and I, I want to thank you guys for watching and remember to wear your green in support of your I, be of I, Ireland and I'm wearing it because I'm Irish and I'm proud of it and I love you. Thank you for watching. Peace out and much come love to the Juggalo family and happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone and may the luck of the Irish be always be with the Irish.